welcome back my peeps so i'm gonna do a quick tutorial because a lot of you guys wanted me to show you how to make this cone that went with the bee stuff that i did the bee cake i'm sorry and you guys wanted to know how i did it it was very easy to do um in the in the video you'll just see a cone it doesn't have all this stuff you don't need to do all of that you could just do a plain cone but you know me, I just gotta keep adding and adding. So on the bottom of here, it has a little honey drip on the bottom of the cone and all that. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make you a, a ice cream scoop. Like I did this ice cream scoop with clay. I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. It's not hard at all. You just need you some clay. Um, if you have a mold, uh, you can use that. But those, some of the molds, they kind of small. They don't make like a big size scoop. You don't have to use clay. If you got spackle, you can use spackle. Um, you know, you do what you have, what's best for you. Whatever um supplies you have on hand, okay. But I'm gonna use clay for this. Um. Well, I did use clay for this cone, and I'm going to use clay for the next one that I'm going to make with you guys right now. So, you're going to take your clay, make sure you mash it up nice and good. And, like, I have this small cone. You can get these on Amazon. I'll leave a link if you guys want it. But I bought these at Hobby Lobby during Christmas time. Um, you know, when they have all the Christmas supplies on set, they usually have a lot of foam at, at that time. And that's a good time to stock up on round foam balls, cones, and all that good stuff. So I got me a pack or two, I think, of these. I don't make that many cones, but it's the thing about being a crafter, they, they people call you a hoarder, but it's that you will never know when you're going to need to use that craft supply you bought, right? So, hey, look. I will admit that I have too many, too much craft supplies and I ain't going to lie about it and I'm not going to feel bad about it either. So you're just going to make your round ball, right? And you kind of want to smash it down a little bit, like, you know, bring the edges down a little bit, you know. And then you're going to get another piece of, um, of the clay and you're going to roll it into... I need my see this is what because like when the clay is really hot hot when it's uh, really wet it sticks to silicone and that's why I um love my um Teflon sheets because I don't have that problem with that so you're gonna just roll it into a nice log round it long enough to fit around the round ball we just did Right, so you're gonna take it, kind of smash it down a little bit too much. Okay, I don't know if that's long enough, but I'm gonna go for it. And you're just gonna, you're gonna wrap it around that part. You're gonna cut off any extras that you have. I can't see what I'm doing. Let me pick this up. And you're just going to cut that like that. And make sure you connect those two pieces. Right? Then you're going to get you like a paint, a paintbrush. A toothbrush. <clears throat> excuse me. Or a texture uh, tool. Anything you have. And just start making texture in it. Now make sure that you get into these. Because you want this to blend. So you want to make sure you get in there and blend it up. Okay? And then you can... Um, what I did to this one, I took some of my um, sprinkles and I just placed them on there. 
and uh, stuck some random here, then all over the place. You know, whatever sprinkles you have. If you don't want to put sprinkles on it, that's fine too. You do not have to. I just want to make sure I get these edges um, blended good. And then you're just going to go like that. And then you're going to have your ice cream scoop. And that's basically it. And that wasn't too hard. So now remember, keep in mind that this is going to shrink. So guys, remember that this foam clay, it dries up. And when it dries, it shrinks. So make sure you use enough clay to make your scoop, okay? I know it seems big right now. But I'm telling you, when it dries up, it won't be the same size, okay? It's going to shrink a little bit. So that's your scoop right there, right? And this is about the same size I did this one. And it shrank a little bit. Not too much, but it did shrink a little bit. So now, I did let this dry overnight. You could even let it dry, you know, a couple of days. So when I put it on my on my comb, because you're going you're gonna to be messing with it. You're going to smash it down a little bit. And you're going to be doing stuff to it. Because when we glue this part, we want to make sure it's stuck. So you're going to have to press down on it like that. So if your clay is soft, like how this clay is, and if you try, you got to let it dry. And if you try to smash it down, you're going to lose the shape of the cone. So let it dry, okay? That's very important. Just let it dry overnight or even a uh, day or two. It's fine. All right, so now we're going to move on to wrapping the cone. So you're going to need... Some Mod Podge. You're going to need a tissue paper. This tissue paper came from Hobby Lobby, okay? And a lot of people have told me that they can't find it at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to tell you why you can't find it at Hobby Lobby. Because it's not in the spring section. It's actually in the party section. So this is part of a baby shower theme. It's called What Will It Be? So... You know, it's not in the spring section. So if you want to get this, these napkins, and they have usually have them. I think they have, um, kept the napkins and the paper plates. they always 50% off now. So I paid $2 for this pack. It has 30. I paid $2.50 and it came with 30 sheets. So, okay. So now they all don't have this shimmery part. Only one piece of the tissue has this shimmery part, which is the top piece. And that's the part I'm going to use. Now you're going to open your napkin up and you can cut it into four pieces. And I'm going to take this part. So on this cone, I didn't use that part because on this napkin, I covered the cake with the top of the cake with this piece. So I'm going to make a cone this time with this piece, right? I'm going to put the top of the ice cream scoop over there so you're gonna need your Mod Podge and your brush these brushes are really good I love these these are Mod Podge brushes and I really really like these brushes for gluing and for Mod Podging I don't know for some reason they just work really well and they of course you have to wash them as soon as you finish working with them but and I like other brushes that get all stuck up and stuff yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, so let me see which side of this napkin I want. I'm, I'm going to cut this edge up a little bit. Uh, you're going to, like, I'll show you in a minute. Let me finish cutting this. Okay, so... You know the napkin it comes with, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like the, it's like a pattern that goes around the edge right here. Like, um, I'm not really sure what it is, but we don't want that on our cone. I think it's just the top sheet that comes like that. Let me see. Yep, it's just the top sheet and the bottom sheet. Okay. Because this one doesn't have anything on it. But anyways, so you want to make sure that you get away. You don't want this edge. You if when you look at the napkin, you know what I'm talking about. It has like these little, it's like a 
little pattern on it and um we don't want that part so basically i'm not really good at this stuff i always tell y'all that so i'm gonna show you how i did mine so i took the comb and i kind of just it like this with it and I try to measure it as best as I could like that you see it's like perfectly fits right around this mini cone and so I'm gonna take some of my Mod Podge and I'm gonna cut around it so I'm gonna take I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on here And then I'm going to tape it, tape it, oh my goodness, glue it down and go from there. Uh, I mean, there might be another way to do it. This is the way I'm doing it. Because, you know, I always do what's easiest for me. And uh, I'm going uh, to keep it like that. I'm just going to glue the one side. Because if you glue the other side, then it's going to be hard to, um, to hold because you're going to get glue all over your fingers. So I'm going to just put it down like that. And I'm going to come like this. Well. And come like this. And then I'm just. I'm just trying to cut it. Like once I cut it. Like see how it didn't work this time. Because. The glue. Held my tissue down. Okay. There you go. Don't be playing with me glue. So you're going to. Make sure that you see, like, why well, I didn't fit this time. Maybe I need to go higher. Now, be careful with your sheet because you don't want to rip the tissue. I, I need to go a little bit higher. I didn't go high enough, okay? So, now I'm going to have to put some more glue because guess what? The tissue took it all off. Okay? But this is good. This is good. I like when you guys see my errors. Because they happen all the time. All right. So make sure you come up a little bit. Like, I think that's going to be good. I hope. Because if not, this, this tissue and this Mod Podge is making a fool out of me. Okay. Yes, this is going to be good. See, now it goes around. It wraps around. Before I put it too low, it wasn't wrapping around. Okay. So there you go. And there go your cone. And there go your tip. Don't worry about this tip. We are gonna worry about that later. So get your little bit of Mod Podge. And uh, glue it down. Don't put too much where you soak the napkin, okay? Just enough to get it to wrap. And you can cut the excess off. You don't need all this napkin you can cut that off because that's what i'm gonna do okay and don't worry about this because we're gonna glue this down later don't worry about that <clears throat> so now at the top you want to leave a little edge because we're going to fold it down into the cone okay so you want to cut off some you could just come in right through here Cut this down. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to cut some down. You want to leave enough to be the edge, okay? All right, there you go. So now we, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to uh, glue this part down. Let's put a little bit of glue on top here, cause that's gonna help me get this edge down. Cause when you put your scoop on it, you don't want to see any of the white part. Not that you are, because you're gonna put that um the uh the glue, the wax, the uh, the wax, the honey, the honey drip, and it's gonna cover it up. But still, so 
just make sure you get rid of all that excess glue we don't need it and you know what i forgot to do i forgot put it on a skewer so i won't touch it that much because we really don't want it because it starts getting a little um like wrinkly and stuff and that you don't want to touch it too much so and you don't want to keep going over it because the tissue will start tearing so this tip right here i'm gonna fold it up like that i'm just gonna put a little dab of glue right there you're gonna get this tip right there and then i'm gonna come in here and just you see i rounded it out now make sure you got all that glue you can go over it. I didn't really aim it, but let's go over it one time. Just to make sure we got everything covered. And that's basically it. You just gluing it down. That's it. And like I said, try not to be too rough or glue over it too much because the, the tissue paper will tear. Okay. Now make sure we got all this down up here. Yeah, put it on a skewer. That way you don't have to touch it that much. And that way you don't get glue all on your fingers. So now, I'm going to let this dry for a little minute. Make sure I got my tip. And um, I'm going to put some glitter on it at this point. This is my favorite glitter. It's called, it's called Snow. And it's from, it's from Michael's Recollection. It's like, I can't explain it. It's not, it just gives it a little shine, shimmer. I can't explain it. It's my face. Oop, not this side, honey. We don't need that side. It just gives it like the nicest little shimmer. I know Miss Joanne Barandi, she likes her chunky sparkly glitter i do too but for some reason this right here is oh it's good on anything it just gives it a nice little shimmer and that's all i need there you go can't really even see the shimmer right now because um is wet so right so then after this dries which i'm gonna take it off of here take it off my skewer i'm gonna put the cone on here now make sure that you put the part where the tissue of meat going towards the back okay and find the best side of your ice cream cone that you want to go in the front. And you're going to glue it down. I'm going to um, use a little bit of hot glue and a little bit of um, tacky glue. Put the tacky, ta ugh, I can't even talk. Tacky glue on first. And then I'll put the hot glue on the on the outside. Now make sure you get your front. Cause I'll be saying, make sure you get your front. Then I start talking and forget where my front is at. Okay, this got glue. I got my yellow glue in here already. I'll be careful with this foam and glue and hot glue. You know, they're not the best of friends. All right. I think I'm going to just go like that. So I'm going to just hold it down for a minute. Or longer than a minute. Because, you know, hot glue and clay, they really don't... They're not good friends either. So... Where's my brush? 
So you gotta let that. This yellow glue, for some reason, it takes a long time to dry. It gets very hot and it takes a long time to dry. So be careful with it. So then what I did was I took some of the glue and I put it coming down like that. And that's what we're gonna do next. I think this is good. So I'm just gonna go around. Hold on a second. Move some of this stuff away. So basically what you wanna do is fill in that gap. That gap right there. But remember like I said, clay and foam and hot glue. Mm, not the best of friends. Just go for it, okay? And I will do a little bit at a time. Let it dry a little bit. Because if you turn it like that, it's going to just come over to the edge. And you don't want that. I'm going to add another glue stick. So I'm going to show you the glue sticks in a minute. That I use. They sell glue sticks on Amazon. But I got these from Ace Hardware. Like this. Oh, God, I can't even grab them. This is what they look like. So I got these from Ace Hardware. They have them in the aisle with the, uh, they have the glue guns and stuff. They got them in the aisle. Sometimes they have two different yellows. They have, like, a little bit of a darker yellow. And then they have this one. I'm going to let this dry for a minute because I don't want it to come down. So, like I said, they have the glue on Amazon. I've never seen it at any other hardware. So, I did go look at, like, um, Lowe's. I, I went down the glue stick out. Nobody had this yellow. So that Ace is the only place I found it. I mean, you can order it online from Ace as well if you if you really want this one. So this is basically it. I just hate these glue webs. And then I'm gonna put the drip going down. The first, you know, you got to do this. Ooh, these glue webs. So I'll just let that dry for a minute. Oh, Lord, I got glue on my fingers. Yikes. So then what I did to make the drips, I keep touching this tissue paper. So I, to make the drips, I start the drip from like right here, right? And then I come up. Start the drip like that. And then I come up. Oh, what's up with this glue? So I'll start like that. I make the big dollop and then I move up. I find that my drips look more like drips when I do it that way. I don't know. What's up with this glue gun? I mean the glue stick.
I try to wait a little bit because when I if I keep turning it and the glue is still hot, it's all going to lean that way. So you got to take your time when you do this part. But basically, this is it. And then you can decorate it however you want. If you want a flower on the top, if you want a bee on the top, however you want it. And you're going to have a cone. Now you got all them blue webs, but this is basically it. Ugh, these webs, these webs. Then when you finish, you'll have something like this. And that's it. That is it, my peoples. That's your cone. So, now you can go and make you one too. Because it's pretty easy. And you can buy a pack of those napkins and share with your friends, your crafting friends. If you don't want the whole pack. Oh, you know what? You buy a pack and you have a bee pattern for the rest of your life. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's all it was. Pretty easy to wrap it, decorate it. Like I, like I said, if you want to put a flower on the top or be, the design is totally on you. All right, my peeps? So until the next tutorial, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting. Talk to you soon. Don't forget to like and comment. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Bye.